everybody, welcome back to my channel. I decided to do a crazy insane eye look today just because it's spring and I had a bunch of cool colors that I wanted to experiment with. And honestly, this is not at all what I pictured I was going to be doing today. I pictured like doing maybe a couple different colors and as I started getting going and using these different colors from the palette that I'll show you in just a second, it became this. So, I don't know where you would wear this, but I thought it was pretty darn cool and I wanted to just do a tutorial about it. So I have a new palette and probably those of you who watch a lot of makeup tutorial YouTube videos will know what I'm talking about. This is the Morphe Brushes Jaclyn Hill palette and got a lot of hype because it was relatively inexpensive and there's like 30 shadows, like so. And they're all really cool. Um, they are super pigmented and awesome and so I was like, hey, I'm gonna use only this palette today and make a makeup tutorial. So I used only three different colors from this palette, maybe four, one, two, three, three, four, three. I used four, but one of them I didn't really care for, so I had to substitute it out. But um, regardless, this was really fun to work with, and it's really good for kind of everyday natural looks because it has a lot of browns and neutral colors, but there are a few like really pop of color ones, as you can tell. So I used those for this tutorial, so I hope you enjoy. I have to go pick my husband up from school after this, and I probably, <laughs> I can't decide whether I want to go like this or whether I want to like wash it off and stuff but I hope you enjoy and let's get started. So first I'm going to prime my skin with this Baby Skin Instant Pore Eraser from Maybelline. It provides a really smooth surface so that my foundation glides on really nice. Um, this L'Oreal Infallible Pro Matte foundation is awesome but it really does stick to your skin so I want that primer so it goes on smoothly. Um, this is color number 102. It's a very pinkish undertone because my skin is still has a pink undertone because I'm not tan. So this one's going to blend a lot better into my neck and the rest of my skin. trying out a new concealer. It's the CoverGirl Ready Set Gorgeous Concealer and I think the number is, if I can read it for you, 5053. I like this better than the NYX HD concealer because it's a lot creamier. It's a lot, I guess, it's easier to blend out. So what I'm going to do is take my finger and just briefly blend it first before I go in with that beauty blender to suck up any extra product. And to set that as usual, I'm using this NYX Finishing Powder in Banana, and I'm going to tap that with a tapered brush from e.l.f. just all over my under eyes and bringing any extra product I have left on the brush under my nose, on my chin, and forehead. Then I'm going to take this Harmony Powder Blush as my contour from MAC. So I like using this because it has kind of a cooler undertone. It's not, well, I guess it kind of looks a little bit orangey in the camera but definitely is one of the cooler tones that I own so I'm just gonna pat that initially with a Real Techniques contour brush just on that upper portion of my cheekbone and using a smaller brush by Real Techniques it's actually a setting brush but I'm going to take whatever extra product is up on those top of the cheekbones and blend that in to make that line not quite as stark but to make it much more blended then I'm going to take this Rimmel Bronzel, 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 oh my gosh, bronzer <laughs> in sunlight and I'm going to apply that to the top of my forehead and over the contour as well just to make bring the whole face together and make my whole face a little bit warmer. And I'm so sad that this camera doesn't really pick up the color of this True Match blush, Innocent Flush. It was so vibrant, it's like a peachy... Um, shimmery blush and I loved it so cool it's perfect for summer because it's nice and like warm and so anyway enough of that but I put this all over my cheeks For my eyebrows coming up, I've switched the color from the 03 Brunette to 02 Chocolate because this chocolate has much more warmer undertones and it just matched the tone of my hair. So that is the color I used on my eyebrows. And for the start of eyeshadow, I really want these bright colors to pop. So I'm using this LA Colors Milk Jumbo Pencil and I'm just putting all of that all over my lids. It's really going to make the bright colors 
stick right to my eye lids rather and it's gonna make it much brighter than if I just use the color by itself. So I don't have the names of these because it doesn't say it, but I'm using this beautiful shimmery iridescent purple color and I'm gonna use that all over the lid. I tried to show you how shiny it was, but you can't really tell, but I'm just patting that on with my finger and I'm so sorry, excuse the fingernail polish. I overlooked that before I started this video, but I'm just gonna pat that pretty heavily onto my eyelid and blend it out a little bit with this smudge brush from e.l.f. This is one of my favorite colors from the palette. It's the bottom right color, that corally color. So we're gonna pick that up with a fluffy brush from e.l.f. and I'm going to put that in the tear duct in the inner corner of my eye and bring it eventually to the outer corner of my eye as well. And I'm going to kind of attach both of those along the crease line, but really focusing it in the outer and inner corner of the eye. These colors are so much brighter in real life than they are on the camera. They were so fun to work with, oh my gosh. For the highlight for my brow bone, I'm using this light pink color. It also has some shimmery sheen to it. So I'm just gonna take a rounded top brush from e.l.f. and I'm going to apply that to my eyebrow bone. And this is the fourth color that I mentioned that I didn't really like on this particular eye look. I've used it before on just the lid and it was beautiful and bright, but for some reason it didn't really pick up on the underneath lash line, so I end up changing that a little bit later in the video. I'm using a liquid liner from Victoria's Secret right now and it was too involved to do on camera, so wham bam, there it is. There's my winged liner for this look. And I kept it in the tear duct by bringing it down to a point to kind of accentuate the eyes and make the eye bigger. So this is the replacement I'm using for that green eyeshadow. It's 007 Scandalized Waterproof Liner, I believe it's turquoise. And I'm gonna put that in my waterline on my lash line itself and making sure to connect the liquid liner from my tear duct. And now I'm just gonna go back in with some more of that coral orange color and just make sure that everything is just as vibrant as it was when I first put it on. So I'm just gonna go back over with the purple and the orange. Briefly, I'm just gonna curl my eyelashes before I move on to mascara and fake eyelashes. I'm using the Maybelline Colossal Volume Express Cat Eyes. I've been loving this mascara recently just because the wand is really small so I can get my eyelashes nice and separated. Today I'm going to be using some intense lashes from House of Lashes. The style is iconic and some Sally Hansen Salon Perfect Eyelash Glue. I like this eyelash glue because it dries a bit faster so it's easier to put the lash on, but good lord. It stings the eye if you get it in your eye. So I don't know what the formula is, but it is intense. And obviously if you're like me and have difficulty putting on lashes the first time, then you tend to get some glue in the eye line and it stings. It stings quite a lot, so just be careful. I'm using Anastasia Beverly Hills liquid lipstick in the color Heathers. It's really intense, so I figured perfect. Tense eye, intense lip. So this stuff is definitely like lacquer and requires a steady hand, so just be careful when applying it because mistakes are difficult to hide. And as always, the necessary last step for me is check the snag for any lipstick. Anyway, this is the final makeup look for you. Thank you so much for watching. I had a fabulous time playing around with these colors. They were so bright and cool, and you really can't tell how vibrant the colors were with this picture, but really awesome. I encourage you all to go out and get this palette and just play around with it yourself. So here's an up close and personal look at the shadow one last time. Again, thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe, and I'll see you later.